Frame the features of your face using your brow line. Join me now to show how you can transform your looks, whatever your budget or age. <laughs> Please welcome plastic surgeon Dr. Dirk Kramer and the beauty editor Nadine Baggett. <laughs> welcome both. So it's all the brow, a brow, the brows. This is all up here then. Yeah. It's getting more and more popular to have lifted eyebrows. Not it's very complicated. It's more than you think it is. Uh, it has to be discussed with plastic surgery because it can do some features to your face which are not. So it's a low. brow lift. It so there's a danger that you could be walking around the supermarket all the time looking surprised no, at the no, price. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the problems that it gives you a surprise look. Women have to know that. And if you don't want that, you come home and your husband keeps saying, honey, you look surprised and you're not. It, it is because of this brow lift. So you have to be very restrictive. And I'm not a big fan of it. Right. So, Nadine? Well, brows are very fashionable at the moment. We've just had London Fashion Week. Model Cara Delevingne has got quite chunky brows. And so, as a result, lots of people are wanting thicker brows. And then also, we've got Anne Hathaway, which shows you how it works on real women. Here's Anne Hathaway at the Oscars. That's a perfectly beautiful, defined brow. And that's the look that people are going after, either with surgery or with makeup. Well, shall we meet a man who wants a brow lift? I think we've got him out here. Well, lad, come on, our, our brow lift. Now, this is Jim. Jim, hello. Hello. Now, Jim, look to the look. Why do you want a brow lift? Well, it's starting to show my age. It's, it, every time, it just wrinkles. And it stays there. It doesn't sort of, like, flatten out anymore, no, so... Why? Have yeah. you sort of sellotape? <laughs> <laughs> it works, you see. Pull it up like that. That's quite... So, but you wouldn't recommend a brow... Hi. Uh, Hi. <laughs> the thing is, you tricked me a little bit. I, I expected a female patient, which is more easy to explain. Man is tricky for... We've always been tricky. It's, it's, you've been tricky today. The problem is with men that a lot of these brow lift procedures feminize. You can do a lateral brow lift in a woman which would do this effect, but he doesn't want to look like Sophia Loren or... No. <laughs> so it, it is do weird. you want to look like Sophia Loren? Even for, <laughs> even for this simple British housewife to have this raised eyebrows looks kind of strange, I must say. The other option would be that he gets the whole forehead lifted, oh. which is either with an incision which is made all along oh. here, the hairline. Problem is for men, he might lose his hair, sorry to say oh. that. He might lose his hair and then he has a huge scar. So not a good idea. The other thing is it's done endoscopically today and he has just three little incisions. Right. But again, if he loses hair, It'll show. I, that's, think, that's, I think we'll go on to products. Thank you very much. What, what could we do without doing that? What could Jim well, do? there are so many things you can do to actually lift the brow in Without general. having a frontal lobotomy. With yeah. three products here. Yeah. I've got Frownies 1750 that you sleep in over the night so that you don't get the lines in the morning. Be Venom Skin Mask, which is the one that uh, Catherine Middleton is rumoured to use, right. which is a faux Botox, or the Lift Mini Lifting System 49.95, which lifts...